Hello, I'm Gino. This is my wife, Dazzle. Chloe, she's in Bumblebee. It's 5.30 in the morning. Oh, and we're Dazzle TV. <laughs> Almost uh, yeah. forgot. <laughs> Almost forgot. You're probably wondering, Dazzle's awake. 5.30. Yeah. Uh, our power, our electricity went out at about 2 a.m. Uh, so we woke up you know it's typical here in the philippines in the middle of the night if uh, the power goes out your ac goes off uh it starts warming up really fast that's why uh we woke up so now she's with me on my morning walk uh we're get of course chloe she loves uh bumblebee so we're gonna give her a ride on bumblebee and with the power outages we've been back in Aklan now for uh two days and the power outages has been all unscheduled. Uh, they just can't handle the all the people using their uh, AC, their air conditioning. So uh, it's been like at least three or four power outages during the day. Oh, there he is, the dog is raining. <laughs> so there's Dazzle and Chloe. There's a little puppy here coming. <laughs> Oh, look at the little puppy. Yeah. It's got a dress. Must be a girl. Oh, no, I thought they got a dress. It's got a haircut. Oh, no, no. Chloe's friendly. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. He, just got a, he just got a haircut. You want boyfriend? Uh, <laughs> no boyfriend. No, uh, no boyfriend. At least today it looks like there's some clouds. Uh, hopefully, it pro hopefully it rains so cool off a little bit because uh, even now it's it's still a little warm. It's probably like 85 degrees right now, and it's like 5:30 in the morning. You can walk her, babe. She doesn't want to walk. Louie doesn't want to walk. She wants the baby boy. The baby boy. <laughs> we'll walk over there. That way, then we'll come back for the. So it looks like we're going to be suffering through uh, more power outages uh, this coming uh, two weeks. Uh, Dazzle and I were hoping to stay here at our house for about two weeks before I start my uh, radiation therapy in Iloilo City. One of the things, uh, if you're not familiar when you come here to the Philippines, if, uh, is because of all the power outages here, Filipinos got this habit of uh, unplugging all your appliances. Dazzle even does this to me. Because the only big thing that we have that I think that I have a surge protector for it is our TV. And even that, Dazzle will like unplug our TV. I told her you don't have to unplug it. Because that's what the surge protector is for. So a lot of times when I wake up in the morning, I want to like turn on the TV and I'm like, uh, it's not coming on because it's not plugged in. Dazzle always unplugs it in the evening time before she goes to bed. I and that saves uh, money for electricity. It doesn't save any money. <laughs> <laughs> and Filipinos will do that here. You'll go to a Filipino's house. All the appliances are like unplugged because uh, they think because the, of the power outages, like when the power comes on, it'll destroy their appliances. And like too our much power. too much power, like a, a, a surge in power. And it doesn't happen because I've had a refrigerator that I bought for 12 years now. I've never unplugged that refrigerator <laughs> and it still works. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, when the power goes out, I'm not going to unplug my refrigerator because it, it might come on. You know, if you unplug it, then it'll be unplugged for the whole, uh, the whole night. You know, so I don't unplug the refrigerator, but people here, uh, it's a common practice. Filipinos will start unplugging their uh, appliances because they're afraid that it's going to blow up when the electricity comes on. So yesterday, Dazzle and I, we got invited to a going away party. Uh, Mar Mark uh, and his wife, uh, Lida, they, they've been here in Aklan, uh, here in our uh, Numancha, actually, in our hometown for like two weeks. They're vacationing from... Uh, California so and he's been watching our channel for a while now and he said uh, he would like to meet us so I, th I thought that was kind of cool so it's like uh, uh, decided to go there uh, to meet them and uh, 
So we met them, met their mom, a really nice uh, a mommy, a Florencia, really nice. And she's staying here till uh, September. So we'll, for sure, we'll, we'll uh, drop by and see her uh, before she leaves in September. And Mark, he, I guess uh, one of the things he likes doing here in the Philippines, because he doesn't get to do it when he's in California, is uh, shoot rockets, bottle rockets. So he, he bought like, at least I would say 300 uh, bottle rockets, big ones too. These aren't the small bottle rockets, you know. So we, uh, we lit them up uh, on the beach uh, last, uh, last night at sunset and then at, uh, in the evening time. So we'll include that on the video so you'll see that right on the beach. We were like firing all these uh, bottle rockets. So that was a blast, you know. It's like I hadn't done that for a long time. I hadn't done that. That, that was a lot of fun. Oh, don't go on the, the grass, baby. Yeah. There you go. And of course, it was a, a Filipino going away, so there's like tons of food. Uh, Mark had gotten like uh, 10 uh, pizza boxes from uh, Shakey's Pizza. Yeah, so really nice people. We were like, like really, Dazzle and I really happy that we went there and hanged out with them. <laughs> she wants, uh, with you, Chloe wants you to like uh, carry her, that's why. Me, she's fine walking. <laughs> she's spoiled. You spoil her. You always like carry her. <laughs> I even got to try uh, Mommy Florencia. She had made this uh, mango salsa. It was awesome because I haven't had like a uh, salsa, that type of salsa, like a uh, pico de gallo style. You know, it's like fresh tomatoes, fresh. Uh, onions he have even had cilantro i was like what cilantro uh, you you rarely see cilantro here in the philippines and then chips of course so that was really awesome you know it's a really sweet lady you know it's like uh i know dazzle and i for sure will visit her when we go to uh nabita's beach I was just going to discuss how my uh, radiation apartment went, you know, with uh, the radiation mask that they built for me. Um, of course, it always, uh, there's always something that uh, doesn't come out smooth, you know, with uh, the process that are he here in the Philippines. So you just have to accept that. Like uh, what had happened was my appointment was at 9. So Dazzle and I showed up there like at 830 and they processed me, they got my uh, blood pressure, and then they, they wanted to go ahead and uh, start an IV line on me. That way when they do the CT scan, they can run the contrast to the IV line. So I had it on my left hand, they had an IV line, went well, you know, no issues, filled out some paperwork, and then they told us to go ahead and uh, pay and the visit for the radiation mask was gonna run us about 22,000 pesos. So no worries, you know, it's like, you know, we, I always carry our debit card and also our credit card because, you know, we don't really like uh, carrying that much cash. You know, so Dazzle, she went to the cashier to, to pay them. And then the cashier said, oh, we don't accept we don't accept debit or credit card. So it's like, whoa. And I only had like 5,000 pesos cash on my wallet. Yeah. So of course we had to run and get money, yeah. you know, and, and it was already getting near 10 o'clock, my actual procedure, uh, procedure time. Uh, there was a bank uh, across the street 
uh, China bank and that's not my bank so it's like well I had my BDO card so okay I, so Dazzle and I we walked to there and um, I didn't want Dazzle to go by herself on the ATM because it's China bank and all the different banks here all the machines are different and I, I knew she's she hasn't gone through like the the China bank so I didn't want her to like uh, get scared or get worried like you know is this gonna work so I went ahead and and you know used the ATM at China bank of course there's a limit I can only get 10,000 pesos so I only get, can only get 10,000 so we're still short we had like uh, 15 total I had five on my wallet then the 10,000 from a China bank so our only choice was like for Dazzle to go back to the apartment because uh, I know I had like uh, I think 15,000 I always keep money in the house like I said on my previous videos because ATMs here are so unreliable you always want to have like cash in your house in our apartment so so Dazzle had to go to the apartment back by herself and got the money so we had enough money you know so uh, when she got back we paid the cashier and then went through my procedure so that the procedure went well um, I've never had anything experienced like that as far as the building the mask because uh, I was laying down on a, on a CT scan table and they were using lasers to line it up like on they drew like a, a, a pen you know like a pen mark on my forehead my nose my my chin yeah yeah they drew on me and then they were like lining up the laser and then they had this uh, plastic thing that they had like uh, they had warmed up and was like really warm it wasn't hot it wasn't like they they told me it's not gonna burn my face but it's gonna be warm so when they put it on that mask thing on my face I mean there was no hole in it so when they put it on me it's like uh how am I gonna breathe and then they had to like Op, you know open the nose part so I can breathe through my nose so that would, that just felt strange you know I've never had an experience like it's like it's from like a sci-fi movie you know it's never had an experience like that but and then after they had that mask on they ran me through the the CT scan machine about 20 minutes uh, I guess they have to get different views so uh, survived it survived another thing like that, that another experience that I can like uh, say that I was able to survive so that's done now I guess it's gonna take them a week or so to build the mask and I'll see it I'll, I'll try it when I go back to Iloilo City hopefully they'll let me take a picture of the mask so I can share that with you so you'll see uh, what that thing looks like you know it looks like a mask it looks like a mask <laughs> It looks like a mask. Yeah. yeah. So we have a uh, so we have like two weeks uh, break here at Camellia. Yes. And then hopefully Liana, you know, uh, uh, her birthday is coming up. May like three. May three is her birthday. So hopefully, like this coming weekend for her birthday, she can celebrate her birthday here with us. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. Let's go. Good thing we brought the we brought the bumblebee. It's raining, guys. So we're we're headed home. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in our next video.